Happy Friday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher. Today, nice winter day. There's some snow showers moving through northern New England. You may see a quick passing snow shower or flurry this evening. Then clearing skies. Tonight's temperatures back to seasonable levels in the teens to low 20s across most of the region. Not too much going on this weekend. A mixture of sunshine and high clouds tomorrow will be a cold day. And then on Sunday, a chance for a few passing snow showers as well, especially toward New Hampshire and northern Massachusetts. The wind will be going more southerly, so overall it's going to be a milder day, but we'll also be battling some cloud cover as we make our way through Sunday. We'll also watch a nearby storm on Monday. It looks to stay offshore right now, but something to just keep tabs on over the course of this weekend. So tomorrow, upper 20s to low 30s across most of the region, a mixture of sunshine and high clouds, a little milder south of Boston, a little colder north and west. Not much wind out of the south at about 5 to 10. Partly cloudy and cold on Saturday night near, near 20. And then on Sunday, a chance for those passing snow showers. And temperatures will find a spot in the 40s. It does get more breezy out of the south. Patriots, they got their send-off on Sunday morning at Gillette's. Should be in the upper 20s at 8 a.m. and in the 30s at 10 a.m. And around 40 as the buses roll right around noon. Now, the next storm system to watch is early next week. Very complicated setup. I am certain that the forecast is going to move around some over the next couple of days. We're watching that nearby storm late on Monday. Right now, it looks to be just offshore, but could bring some light snow toward Cape Cod. And then as we head into Tuesday, another storm system moves in from the west, but then it kind of stops pulls off to the north, and then we've got a wave of low pressure that develops along it. So this could bring a mixture of some snow and some ice to start, changing over to rain and perhaps ending as a bit of snowfall as well. And then a lot of cold will move in behind it. It's going to be an interesting system, and Tuesday into Wednesday will be a time in the forecast to keep a close eye on. So there's your full seven day. It's generally seasonable through Wednesday. And then a blast of cold. Temperatures could stay in the teens for most of the area on Thursday and Friday at the end of next week.